Now listen closely because this is serious. At this year's COP27 climate change summit, there were protests for a Sabbath for the earth to be introduced to the world. But what day would the Sabbath for the earth be? Well, when Pope Francis addressed the COP27 summit, he promoted his Laudato Si action platform, which is to consolidate the efforts of mankind to implement the principles of his encyclical, which simply means to care for our common home. Well, in point 237 of the Pope's encyclical, he states that Sunday, like the Jewish Sabbath, is necessary for the healing of our relationships with God, ourselves, with others, and with the world. In other words, they're making a push to make Sunday a mandatory day of rest for all humanity. And when this happens, it will be the implementation of the mark of the beast spoken of in the book of Revelation chapter 13. And only those whose names are in the Lamb's book of life will stand. And whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth. Did you know that you can search your Bible from Genesis to Revelation and you won't find one scripture in the entire Bible where God both blesses and sanctifies the first day of the week, which we know as Sunday, to be set aside as some special day for holy observance? So why is it that the majority of the Christian world religiously observes Sunday, the first day of the week, as some type of holy day? Well, it's because in the year 321 AD, Constantine the Great, the emperor of the Roman Empire and a Roman Catholic convert seeking to heal the division within his empire between paganism and Christianity he made a decree that all the inhabitants of Rome were to rest on the venerable day of the Sun which is the first day of the week Sunday and this is the origin of the human authority behind the institution of Sunday as a holy day as opposed to God's true Bible Sabbath day which is the seventh day which we know as Saturday and whether you like it or not the truth is the truth. President Macron of France just called for the nations of our world to develop a single global order. A lot of people would like to see there, there are two orders in this world. This is a huge mistake. Even for both the US and China, we need a single global order. And this is prophetic because in Revelation chapter 17 and verse 12, the Bible tells us, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as of yet, but shall receive power as kings for one hour with the beast. Kings in the Bible are a symbol of civil entities. Ten in the Bible is a symbol of universal, letting us know that there will be a universal civil order or a new world order that will be ruling over the world prior to the second coming of Jesus. And the word of God goes on to say in verse 13 that these shall have one mind, and shall give their power and their strength unto the beast, meaning that the new world order will work with the Antichrist. Are you ready for Jesus to come? And whether you like it or not,